Now Altai was one of the main members of the Assassin's Brotherhood and he was the ancestor of Desmond Miles. And I just love that they brought both Ezio and Altai in Revelations. It was just so amazing. But wait, this isn't an Assassin's Creed. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, Altai is the brightest star in the constellation of Aquila, and it is actually the 12th brightest star in the night sky. Now, if you want to find out Altair in the night sky, you need to look for the constellation of Aquila. It is the brightest star in its constellation. And Aquila has a lot of legends related to it, and a lot of ancient cultures identified it as an eagle. Like in the classical Greek mythology, Aquila was identified as an eagle that carried the thunderbolts of Zeus and was sent by him to carry the shepherd boy Ganymede who desired to mount Olympus. The constellation Aquarius is sometimes identified with Ganymede. So a lot of star names in just one legend. Cool. Now Alta is also the part of the famous summer triangle and you can almost find it very easily in the suns. It's one part of its vertex and for those of you who understand the uh, universal coordinate system, it's about right ascension 19 hours 50 minutes and 47 seconds and declination of about 8 degrees 52 minutes and 6 seconds. Summer triangle is visible for most of the time throughout the year but in July and August uh, it's about uh, a directly overhead view at the midnight. Now Alta's name also comes from an Arabic phrase, an nasr at which means a flying eagle. Alta is a type A main sequence star and its luminosity is about 11 times that of our sun. It also has a mass of about 1.8 times that of the sun. It's also quite easily visible in the night sky, which means that if it's so bright, it shouldn't be that far. And that is the case, it's about only 16.8 light years away from Earth, which is really close. And comparing with all the other stars, I mean, it is close, it's one of our closest neighbors. What would happen if we were to replace our sun with the Alta? Well, since Alta is quite bright 11 times uh, its luminosity, it would be really bright here on Earth. And since it also has a surface temperature of about 7550 Kelvin, while our sun has only about 5800 Kelvin, this means that there would be a noticeable temperature difference on Earth and life would cease to exist. Well, if anything in our ecological system would be disturbed, life would still cease to exist. So this isn't a question anyway. So what happens is, a higher temperatures usually reveal greater mass at least for the main sequence star. And that is why Alta is thought to exceed about 1.8 times the mass of a sun. And that is the case. But this isn't it. Now the star also rotates very rapidly around its axis of rotation. And with fast, I mean it's very very fast. Because as it completes one rotation about its axis in just 10 hours, while our Earth takes about 24 hours to complete its axis. Now it might not sound a lot of difference, but considering that our Earth is just a planet and Alta is a big star, the comparison ends when you see the difference that uh, Altai can support about 1.7 million Earths inside it. Yeah. Again, due to the rotation, the star also bulges out from the equator. Now, it has an equatorial radius of about 2.03 solar radii and has a polar radius of about 1.63 solar radii. That's a noticeable change for the radii. Theory predicts that owing to Altai's rapid rotation, its surface gravity and the effective temperature should be lower at the equator, making the equator less luminous than the pole. This phenomenon is known as gravity darkening or the von Zippel effect. Star also has an apparent magnitude of about 2.22 and an absolute magnitude of about 0.77. Now, another important thing about the star is that its axis of rotation is inclined 60 degrees to our line of sight from the Earth. The Chara image was the first uh, ever image of the star that provided visual confirmation of the gravity darkening. The image showed even more darkening at the equator than the scientists had predicted using the standard models, highlighting potential flaws in the model. Now, Alta is moving relatively fast against the background stars and will move as much as by a full degree by the end of 5000 years. So that's pretty much it. That's it guys for this film. I hope you got enough information about the Alta and the next time you look at this guy you will be pretty happy. And don't forget to subscribe and like, hit a like below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And also, Ezio was my favorite. Bye.